What's up, cunts? Hi, I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. I am the Magic the Gathering content creator equivalent of a discarded condom. I am rubbery, I'm perhaps useless now that you've used me, but you still want to look inside, you still want to have a good little slurp. Get that tasty treat out from deep inside that crevasse, that little, that little tasty morsel within the hole. This is the pre-stream bit, this is the new intro. I mean, actually, if you're watching this in six months' time after I've recorded it, it's probably not the new intro. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Here comes the sun, little darling. I'm not live right now. This is a pre-recorded intro, but I will be live shortly. Don't you fucking worry. So welcome to the Hot Boy Milky Gamer Zone. I am the Hot Boy Gamer. I am the most milkable man in esports entertainment. I am the premier beard of the format. If you don't believe me, well, I was endorsed by Louis Scott Vargas. What gives him authority over beards? I don't know, but it sounds good on paper. This is twitch.tv forward slash Pleasant Kenobi. This is where the magic happens, or at least the streaming of the magic. I do stream other things too. A little bit of Warhammer there, a little bit of painting here. A little bit of variety content. Sometimes I play League of Legends, just get incredibly stressed out. But mainly, it's magic. I'm live this time, 7 p.m. Well, I say this time. I might be playing this intro before a non-Monday stream. But I'm live every Monday at 7 p.m. GMT or BST, as well as impromptu streams announced via my Twitter and my Instagram and my YouTube. So you should follow me on all those platforms too. Why I'm called. Yep, not very original, Pleasant Kenobi. There are links to my Instagram and my Twitter and my YouTube down in the uh, like about me section below this stream. Um, YouTube is where the real magic happens in the sense that I put up more content over there. I put up between three and seven videos a week, primarily magic. Again, a bit of variety content. Wednesdays tend to be Warhammer, but the majority is Magic the Gathering. If you are here for pro plays, if you are here to become an MPL level player, well, firstly, I don't even quite know what the MPL is, but secondly, this is not the place for you. I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna get distracted, I'm gonna talk about complete fucking nonsense, and I'm probably gonna get a bit salty. But in spite of the teaspoons, maybe heaped teaspoons of salt, I think that the environment and the community we've cultivated here is a relatively positive one, an inclusive one. That's right, I did say inclusive. If you're the kind of person that hears the word inclusive and you sort of recoil in pain, if you're the sort of person that asks others to keep politics out of their game, well, you can fuck off. This is not what you're going to enjoy. You're not going to like it here. This will be your own personal hell. That's right, I'm a little bit left-leaning and that's going to be really upsetting for some of you. I'm not even remotely sorry. So we're going to sling some spells, we're going to chat shit, we're going to chat about absolute fucking nonsense, but we're going to have a good time whilst doing it. So grab a brew, grab a tinny of sody pop, grab a coffee, grab a pale ale, a fruit cider, a fruit shoot. Just grab a drink, kick up a stool, lay back. You can even have a wank if you want. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not in a hot tub very often though, so it's not quite the same wank bank material as Twitch. I probably shouldn't go into that. If you want to support, you can subscribe by the button that is either above or below my head. I'm not even sure anymore with all the changes to Twitch and the fact that I have the attention span of a dead cat. The best way to support the channel is via Patreon. There are links below to the Patreon. And for $2 a month, you can get involved with the Discord. I'm regularly on there myself. There's a good community going on there. Apart from a couple of people that are cunts, you know who you are. But on the whole, the community is pretty damn good. Beyond that, subscribe to Pleasant Kenobi on YouTube. That's where most of the content goes up. And that's the best way to support me because it helps me get towards getting that silver plaque at 100k, which will make me feel like I've actually done something with my life for the last three years. And that's all of it, really. Um, so just kick back, relax, shoot some b-ball outside of a school. Couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I don't know why I went down that route. If you enjoy this, don't forget, Hit that subscribe or just follow if you can. And can I get some capital letter hype? Because we're about to get going. We're about to get started. If you type ha capital letter hype in the chat, one, it tantalizes my balls. I actually have electrodes strapped to my testicles and the word hype makes me get ever closer to that cum. But secondly, it also helps me to see in the chat how close this video bit is to being over and to how soon I need to get on my fucking, get on with it and get live. Will this loop? Will this be one of those things where it starts over again at the beginning and then people like, you're looping Vince in chat? Well, we're going to find out shortly, aren't we? Because this is the end of it. I, I, fi I finished talking. This is shorter than the old intro. If you've never seen the old intro, well, you're missing out. But you're here now and that's the main thing. 
just rambling now, just, just filling out a bit more time so that future me can, I don't know, finish taking a shit or whatever I'm doing, getting a little soda pop, getting a little discarded condom. You see, I'm, I'm referring back to things I've already said in this intro, because that's how humour works. If you reference things that you said in the past, what else did I say? MPL, pro, capital letter hype. Oh fuck, it's about to loop, isn't it? Sup cunts? Hi, I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. I am the Magic the Gathering content creator equivalent of a discarded condom. I am rubbery, I'm perhaps useless now that you've used me, but you still want to look inside, you still want to have a good little slurp, get that tasty treat out from deep inside that crevasse, that little, that little tasty morsel within the hole. This is the pre-stream bit, this is the new intro. I mean, actually, if you're watching this in six months' time after I've recorded it, it's probably not the new intro. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Here comes the sun, little darling. I'm not live right now. This is a pre-recorded intro, but I will be live shortly. Don't you fucking worry. So welcome to the Hot Boy Milky Gamer Zone. I am the Hot Boy Gamer. I am the most milkable man in esports entertainment. I am the premier beard of the format. If you don't believe me, well, I was endorsed by Louis Scott Vargas. What gives him authority over beards? I don't know, but it sounds good on paper. This is twitch.tv forward slash Pleasant Kenobi. This is where the magic happens, or at least the streaming of the magic. I do stream other things too. A little bit. Fuck, I looped. I assume my camera's out of sync. Let's turn it off. Don't know what, how this even happens, honestly, everybody. How is everybody today? Welcome, welcome, everybody. I let it loop. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I'm a bit, a bit, a little bit close. I might do a big zoom out for a little bit. Let's do a bit of a big room. Just for a little bit. I'll go a bit zoomed in a little bit later. Hello, hello, everybody. How are we doing? First time chatters in chat as well. Biff Alone and oh, Haggis right McGaber. I appreciate Impressive you coming along and getting involved with the hype. Naki with a resub. First person to sub today, Naki. You see, leading, leading the way. And, and I appreciate that. How are we doing? New intro went high. Let's break some moto and kill some cunts with battle. What are you doing right now? Uh, we're, ass. we're gonna play some league. Yes, we are gonna play some fucking league. Thank you for twenty three months. and milk daddy. Forty one months, three. twenty three months in a row. And dark of the moony. I'm from the heavens. I was gonna hear this. Slivers and milk daddy. That's me. Um. So new intro. I actually had it on my plans for today, but didn't put it on my list, and therefore ergo Heather two. I forgot. So I'm going to add it to my actual to-do list now. Because I thought about it when I was eating dinner with my wife. She was like, what are you on about? And I'm like, don't, know, don't worry. Well, don't worry. Be. Uh, stream intro redo. So I need to do that before next Monday. Yes, we're playing Sliver of Wits today. I am 3 and 0 oh with the deck in the practice rooms. Not even joking. I play into Harden Scales and Blue-White Control and beat them. <laughs> the Blue-White player didn't want to play a second. No, no, because they're only best of one. That's why. Uh, it's salmon and capers in amongst um, uh, tomato and chili uh, uh, spaghetti noodles. As what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Thank you, Bobby O, for gifting out some to Regis Jr. 81. Hello, Bobby O. The absolute king of throwing money at me. And you know what? I will dance like the fucking pussycat that I am. Uh, also, I used to warhammering on the weekends. Oh, baby, am I? I was at a tournament last weekend. I'm at a tournament this weekend. Let's fucking go! I've got to finish picking my custodies tomorrow night. Got to submit my list tomorrow. So I am on it like a fucking hot, cum-filled asshole. I'm loving it. Uh, this week, if it gets finished on Wednesday, we'll have the next battle report coming out on the YouTube channel. It's me versus Hellstone Mikey. He's on melee Necrons. Not how you think, though. It's literally like Necron Warriors, like fist fighting sisters of battle. And I'm on a relatively sweaty sister battle list, although my melt was bad into him. Um, I've also got in the works a video talking about how custodies are the best army to get into 40k with. Because they're very cheap. But they just got a new book and might be also too good. <laughs> Let's go custodies! Uh, this is a 3.78 litre. One gallon, 3.78 litre. 12, 128 ounces of liquid hot stuff. What else was I going to say before we start? Oh, it's my anniversary today. I, I made the YouTube channel on this day in 2007. 
My first upload wasn't until like 2008 years ago, I think it was. 2011, maybe? No, 2013? I'm going to look up my first ever upload and actually book it in my calendar to be a real pop-up birthday because the first upload is the big one. But today is the first... This day, like fucking... Tw what was that? 2007? That's 15 years ago. Is that 15 years ago? What the fuck? I made a YouTube account. A YouTube channel. I pressed the create channel button or whatever it was. So that's kind of cool. And then YouTube was like, do you want to look back at the first like, day? And I'll click the button. It's empty because there's no videos back then. <laughs> but I am going to find out where my first thing went. Uh, I was, yeah, I was on at six years old, yes. Uh, big shout out to Cool Stuff Inc. for sponsoring this stream and all streams and all content from Channel 5. Uh, well, I said the wrong words. Not Channel 5 anymore, from Pleasant Kenobi. Um, if you're looking to buy singles or sell product, go to coolstuffinc.com. 5% off these Kenobi at checkout, which is pretty fucking good. 2008 years ago. Yeah, exactly. I think I had it off now, but warm. And I wear my No Retreat t shirt as well, which is fun playing. 40k abroad for charity. Hopefully, we'll do it next year and make more money as well. We'll be we talking about 40k as we go, as we always do. Today's deck. Rob isn't with us, by the way, because it's Rob's birthday today. Um, so, if you want to wish him a happy birthday, it's at White Rob. Is it at White Rob? No, it's at White, at White Robert on Twitter. So, by all means, uh, Obviously, you remove the space. There you go. You can all go wish me a happy birthday. Uh, this is a battle of slivers, or sliver of wits. I prefer sliver of wits. Let's talk sideboard first. Our sideboard is one copy of Yorion, because we are a Yorion deck. And then we have a, we have a package for Khan. Now, the reason for this is that I don't think sideboarding in a 250-card right battle deck is even remotely worth it. So what we're doing instead... I'm going to go in a bit now. What we're doing instead is just playing a Khan package. Earlier on, I beat some... I, I almost... I was one life off, sorry. Almost grabbed the Sphinx... No, sorry, the Magister Sphinx to reset my life against someone who'd animated an Archon of Despair or whatever. No, the um, the black-white one that you used to see playing Megacy. Anyway, so we are playing a shit ton of fucking slivers. Thank you, Blue, Val Blue Valcon, for the Prime. For anyone who doesn't know, by the way, if you've got Amazon Prime, which is going up soon, so Amazon is set to make a... Fuck ton of money. Might be worth getting some stocks there if you haven't already. To the moon, baby! To the moon! Um, you, yeah, anyway. Uh, Amazon Prime. Yes! It gives you a Prime subscription on Twitch and gives you a favourite streamer, which should be me, obviously, because I am uh, the hottest beard in esports entertainment. Um, Smoke yeah. weed every day. So we're going to play a load of slivers. Fucking tons of them. We've even got the one drop one in here, virulent sliver. I uh, just have more one drops because it gives them poisonous one. Not in fact. Early one, I actually cast a first sliver, and if we cascade into a flying sliver, no, you're doing then right we now. won on the spot. Impressive. And I was like, oh, this is like, I wish I was recording right now because it's just so gas. Then we cascade into the poison sliver, and as I put this fucking thing in on the suggestion of a splicer. By the way, this, this was helped to put together by my splicers. My top tier Patreons get to be in a call with me once per week. Well, it's most weeks. Some weeks I don't if I'm super busy. But most weeks when we just hang out, we chat shit about gaming, hobbying, food, the world politics, and sometimes Magic the Gathering. So you're playing tons of um, uh, slivers and a few other clutch things. Sky Club Apparitions in here too. And we're playing basically like 36 plus 56 plus 44. What's that? Roughly speaking, 136 3 CMC or lower slivers because we're playing... Collected company. Then we're playing four copies of Call of Calling to allow us to shoot for the slivers when we need to. We're playing four copies of Bring to Light to go and get random things when we need to. Bearing in mind we cannot get Battle of Wits itself. Can't get artifacts either, so we can't get Mass with Nexus. Mass with Nexus plus World Tree allows us to put every sliver on our deck into play. And that might break Modo. So that would be good. Uh, and then we've got first sliver, we've got Return of the Wild Speaker, which is even over one to kill the opponent. It doesn't give trample, I just realized, or draw its cards. Um the Great Henge. Probably bad in this deck, honestly. One could be Thorncast and Sliver for us to go and shoot at four. We probably could still have some more silver bullets, but we don't. And then a Khan package. That's it. That's the fucking tweet. So, let's fucking do this. That's a bit earlier with the button there. Uh, we're going to a Modern League. Is it possible to shuffle this double sleeved IRL? Hello, Honza One Ghost. Thank you for getting involved with the Twitch chat. I do appreciate when people get involved. Uh, probably not. <laughs> I do have friends who've played this sort of thing at FNM. I almost played Battle of Wits at FNM once, um, but I realised that I enjoyed um, not being the most annoying person in the room. So, let's give it a go. Um, the other interesting thing about the deck, if we just quickly talk about this while we're queuing, 
is it's got 75 lands in a 256 card deck i don't know if that's correct i checked out some stuff on Olu against the odds battle of wits videos earlier today and well <laughs> he was playing like 100 lands but he was playing like seven cmc things and we've got like dorks and mana wrestlers and shit so yeah thank you danny b i'm glad i reminded you thank you for the amazon prime i appreciate it i generally do so Battle of Wits on Modo has historically been a problem. Last time we did it, we were playing Battle of Wits Lands and Legacy, I think. Or we were playing several Legacies jammed together. And I ended up just creating out the stream because I was pissed off because every time we tried to search for things, I think I think it was Scape Shift kept crashing the stream, if I remember correctly. Or crashing Modo. Now, I played some games earlier, fetching up lands. And we didn't crash at all. I only crashed when loading the deck into Modo twice. So that's good. I don't know if Frank Carsten or anyone has done any articles or any of the math heads, you know, the math nerds, am I right? Talking about if there's more likelihood or less likelihood of flooding in a larger deck, even if the distribution of mana is the same, just because you have like a chance of hitting more clubs. Oh no, there must be something there, right? Anyway, let's get PyCam ready to shout at you and your bunch of cunts. There we go. Is that against TRS? I don't know. Um, reveal our Pokemon. Okay. Two drop, three drop. It's not a great hand, but it's not it's the worst either. We're going to keep this. Level one hydrate. Thank you very much, everybody. Let's fucking go. <coughs> now, I've got an upkeep trigger from earlier. I was playing some Vintage today. We should have a video up on the channel later in the week. It's a sick Vintage deck. Harden Scales Affinity. So, we're on hard mode playing into one of the top tier decks immediately. I'll tell you what. Harmonics level, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, is very fucking good into this deck, I bet. Um, well, I know, because I put up two things with it earlier. <laughs> Let's go Windswept Teeth. With this, we're going to get one of the Triomes. We're going to untap, and we're going to grab a Stomping Grounds with a Verdant. The reason we're not going to get a Sacred Foundry with the, uh, with the Flooded Strand is I haven't got any Sacred Foundries in the deck. The mana base is all over the place because I didn't think I'd need these. And after three or four games, uh, three games earlier, sorry, it's two to three is probably a better way of saying it, I realised, red in Hardened Scales, anyone can tell me what that's for, but I've realised that actually, oh, the activation cost of the Wasp thing. Is that right? Um, yeah, I should be playing one of the uh, Sacred Foundries. <laughs> There's the renewed Toot. Crack this. No, I don't think they're playing that anymore after for Blastoise. Uh, we should be playing Ignoble, Noble, and Birds of Paradise. Yeah, we're playing both. Playing all three. And here I want to get a red, black triome. Does that exist? Mardu. There we go. I don't even know what the ability of Zabaz does. I just know that they have been playing it. Um, Gains flying. Oh, it's one white man. Oh, just try to have that new control. That's that's usable. Are they expensive now? Fuck, I've got a load of them, I think, from when I opened up a load of the set. Get rid of them. Best in stocks. What the fuck? Modular one land. And it's artifact. I don't remember this even existing. What the fuck? So a two drop sliver would be good because then we can play two. Oh, a one drop sliver, sorry, would be better because then we can get closer to being able to record for harmonic sliver, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, but we can. I'll take just playing spite for sliver out, to be honest. An ozolith would be bad for us, but and so would walking ballista, to be fair. Get a forest here. Go red, red, green. Play a spiteful sliver. I 
Oh, right, 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 right. Cavern is still very expensive, I agree. Okay, this is good. This is good. Could they do an interesting board say if we have some, like, big bodies and they, like, attack the walking ballista or whatever, right? So next turn we can go get a three drop with cord at instant speed in their turn to really disrupt them. I'll bang two, okay. So they attack here. I can take six this turn. And then we can like do some sweet blocking Bam. next turn. Oh, can we? Sorry, this goes on and makes five counters, right? Six plus five is only 11, so... Oh, and the modular land. No, we're fucked. We are fucked. Yeah, I should have blocked there. Should have double blocked, really. No, 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 because then we could have got the harmonics there. Okay, we'll die. That was dumb. I forgot about the modular land as well. Yep, yeah, cool. Right, okay, we're dead. So, uh, don't worry. Our sideboard is really strong. Uh, it's full of Khan targets. So what we were going to do next turn was start taking out things at instant speed after blocking. We we're just going to throw things in, in the way. I should have done some math before I said no blocks. Because I wanted to do the cast this. Blocking didn't really put us in a good spot either. Because then we would have had just nothing. That said, that's not true. Because blocking would have... Um, they would have done three damage to each of our creatures. We would have just shot three damage in different places. Because of hardened scales, we could never kill them. Because the things we kill, would, the, 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 the modular triggers would fall off and go onto the creatures. So it wouldn't be really great. We're just in a bad spot anyway. Uh, I really think I hate Fury in Modern. I really do. Well, will be. I think Fury would have been a reasonable ban in Modern. I really, really do. Right, let's choose Yorion. Oh, does Spiteful hit face and walkers? Oh, wow. In which case, we were triple fucked. Uh, Bolt's pretty good. Uh, we got one two drop sliver. We'll keep the. We never draw another land, we're going to look like right twats. But we have a bolt. Bolt plus a two drop. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, that's just true really hot off stream. And then draw like shit on stream. So let's go get a... We really should have one second found in our deck. Uh, well, enjoy it's frustrating for the lightning bolt here. Ozolith, okay. We get a try on with this then. I can get stomping grounds if we had to. We'll get Mardu, so we get a red white land off this. Or Savai, should I say. We draw Damry's call, which is good. So we can get an overgrown tomb with this or a breeding pool. Eldamry's for a mana weft sliver, I guess. You know what? I'm just going to play out the Sentinel Sliver now. If we don't draw a... Red sauce. We can't actually play the lava belly the way I do. What are you doing right now? Impressive. We're going to get harmonic sliver. But. Thank you for the prime sub to say to you. Welcome back. Oh, come on. So bad. Okay. Well, we'll pass to our opponent. I could have swung. They wouldn't have sacked anything into it. <laughs> yeah, right to out. We do look like a right to out. So they attack here. We have to tap it down for a turn with Bolt, but we're not going to bother. Okay. So Harmonic Sliver might still be able to do some work if they don't draw any more creatures for the rest of the game. We probably should get Mana Weft here, but I... Th oh, fuck. Chat, do we, get, do we get a Mana Sliver or do we get Harmonic? I'm going to get hard more. I can just raw dog a land off the top. You ready, chat? It begins. 
Okay. This is match two. So it's a four four, okay. This is game one, match two. This is my first um, mana fuck out of four games so far with the deck. I thought I'd been like a god and just like randomly put the right number of lands in, but. So Shadow Spear makes sense. Zabaz. You get a combat. I'm gonna bolt the. Ravager now. Means either sack the Warden Jar on or like some other things and just makes this smaller basically. If they don't put any to um, tokens onto the construct at all, then I don't bother blocking it. If they put some on it, we do. Take six, then. We'll block next turn with Sentinel Sliver, I guess. Um, we want to draw a land here or we just die. And to be honest, most of our lands come to play tapped or they shock us to not play tapped. So, cool. Okay, so our deck actually didn't do anything. I've played three really good games of this deck so far off stream. I want to see if I just... I didn't want a whole stream where our deck did absolutely nothing. We had really good back and forths, thanks to the tutors and stuff and just being an aggro deck. So it's really frustrating that for the first round, our deck didn't do a whole lot. So, don't worry though. I have faith it will do more in the next round. Um, because we've had some streams where, um, I, I don't even know what that means, Gobot707. I don't know what you're winking about. Maybe your asshole is quivering at the sight of my beard. I do not know what you're winking at. Uh, but, like, we've had some streams where we've played meme decks we've come up with, and they've been really, like, piss-poor games. Like, just nothing has happened. I didn't want that to happen again. As much as I enjoy playing a meme, I like memes that have a chance to actually have a game of magic, right? So I wanted to check. Right, Yorion, we've got land, land, mana sliver, plus, yeah, we've got a curve, let's fucking go. So let's go windswept into stomping ground. This hand is uh, pretty decent for a sliver aggro deck. Stomping ground. Pay the life, yep. Striking sliver, let's go. And then our Flintstone ideally wants to get a swamp for the sedge sliver. We don't have God of Shrine. We don't have a Sacred Foundry. I think of the two that we can't fetch. So Inquisition almost certainly takes Mana Weft sliver here. Oh, there's an argument for taking um Cord, but I think they take Mana Weft. They took the Lord with Regenerate. Interesting. Maybe they have a Damnation in their deck. Maybe it's a removal for Mana, mana, mana Weft. Sweft. Uh, let's sacrifice this. And grab... I guess another green source of some kind. But let's grab a green white source. Let's grab Temple Garden. Your generation doesn't allow regeneration, yeah. So what? It must be they have a removal for this, right? So we're gonna they're gonna untap and kill this. We're gonna play another one. I just don't know why you take the Lord over the Mana Dork, right? Uh we're playing Battle of Wits. Oh, do, do people even know what Battle of Wits does? By the way, it's a five mana enchantment that says at the beginning of your upkeep, you have two hundred cards in your library, you win the game. So that's one of our win cons. The other win con is just to sliver them. 
Ratchet bomb. Okay. Interesting. Draw a land. Cool. Thank you, City of Brass. Thank you. So this one gives them haste. And they can sacrifice themselves to pump other ones. So on the turn they ditch the Ratchet bomb, we can do that. Do you know what? I'm just going to cast the Mana Swift here. I should have played the Mana Swift. Bollocks. The Mana Swift could have been played before because this gives haste. I have missed a point of damage here, chat. Please someone mark up the punt. Now, what three mana black wraths do we think they're going to have? So they took the generate one because of the Ratchet Bomb, I guess? Bontu's Last Reckoning would be sad. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. None of that shit. Hello, Rai the Meme Guy, and welcome. I'm glad the deck drew you in, my friend. The new cl is like new cleave one at three mana? Fucking hell. This is round two, by the way. We got absolutely stomped by hardened scales in the first one. Field of Ruin. Last hope, sure. So I'm gonna try and kill this. So I'm gonna go tap for green, sacrifice, which permanent should we sacrifice? The Striking Sliver. Yeah. And then we're going to give this plus two, plus two until end of turn. Yeah. Oh, it's until next turn, Vince. Not until end of turn. You know that. You fucking know that, Vince. Can someone else mark up another punt, please? That was a huge punt. It's been a while since I've seen a Liliana the last hope. Fuck. Fuck it. Green. Oh, God. They're going to take up the Ratchet Bomb. Terrifying. Let's go to combat then. Totally worth. Yeah, we're going to call for a three drop. It's going to be a harmonic step to block that ratchet bomb. So that at least keeps us with the body. We can also just go with Skyclave Apparition of Liliana. The biggest problem with the EDH stream is that no one can tell what the fuck's going on. <laughs> do we humble at the Vatchet Bomb here? Or do we sky clear the Liliana? We should also play one Eternal Witness just to be on the upside, safe side as well. I mean, Lily calls more so over time, though. That's the problem, right? Diffusion Sliver does protect our Liliana. Oh, from Liliana. We have to destroy that batch of bomb. Pow. Do 
So we're going to just draw sliver after sliver and maybe we get there. Some of that draws some cards would be great, like company. But I mean... <laughs> it, that's 4 out of 243 cards. They kill a mana left there. I guess they can't go get Needle out of the board would be pretty good. Fuck it, I'll just go play Planeswalkers. Patty Cakes, that's the problem, right? Like, slowing down, explaining cards, and showing stuff doesn't really work for a stream. Draw one card? This does not seem good. Follow me. Yeah, we could Yorion, I guess. I guess Yorion draws us more cards with the Wild Speaker next turn. Okay. Maybe Yorion digs us out of this hole. Maybe the companion is what does it for us, chat. So they kill our mana weft, which means we're never casting the Yorion. Well, that's not true. We can draw a fifth round. They don't talk cards in the library. And they find a swamp. Thank you for the followers, by the way. Newbies and new people here. Welcome, welcome. Follow me. Follow me. Blast zone, okay. Liliana's close to ulting, by the way. Okay. Thanks for the Prime Swap Bot. Appreciate you know what it. What are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. So, like, company is just basically the best card we can draw now because we need to we need to make two bodies, not one. I don't really know what our deck does against this. Other than have an aggressive start. So, this ETBs and does one damage to one thing. Player or Planeswalker. No. Okay. Well, let's go to the sideboard. And have no agency whatsoever. And then, let's get into it. I don't think we have enough lords to play Great Henge. Tab asked if we should play it, and I just said yes for the for the memes. So if anyone wants to know why we're playing Great Henge, blame Twitch user ta T underscore A underscore B. What a cunt. But we haven't drawn it. Also, I think more turn of the wild speaker might these might be Tab's two suggestions. So far we're zero for one of them being terrible when drawn. Uh, West US Ladder doesn't get to catch your streams all that often. Just want to say I really appreciate your consistently holding what's his feet to the fire for the radio economy. Sick and tired of so many things in life being a greedy money siphon. Um, yeah, I mean, making love and his death felt very tired because it just feels like they're never going to fucking do anything, right? It's really frustrating. Like, I'll never stop making magic content because I have to pay the bills and magic content pays the bills. But fuck does it bug me. And I also love magic, like the vintage that I played today. And even the, this deck is fun. Fuck me. I just wish... I just it, it boils down to I wish they wouldn't be so fucking greedy because Arena could be so good. Okay, well, there's our first Great Henge draw. It's bad. Mulligan. Keep. Return of Mass would seem like a non though. They are. But, I mean, a 259 card deck, you'll be alright. But thank you, best friend EB. I appreciate it. Oh, no. Cancel. We're going to put back maybe the cord. Yeah. God, I'm 
This deck is terrified of living on last hope. It's so bad for us. Hello, Youngie Bowie, wet dream. Young. Oh, okay, I'm not going to well, say the actual what that is. And Sun Bro MTG, welcome, welcome. We're in round two. We have not won a game yet. <laughs> Decks, uh, that can be difficult. The Inquisition take our unsettled Mauna. I feel a little quite sad. Okay, pushing that is fine. Can't play Mariner next turn, though. Welcome to the Patreon. Welcome to the Patreon. Let's go and get a Hollow Fountain. Follow me. So we have a 2 2. So we aren't dead to Liliana the Veil at this point. So that's nice. Follow me. That's very nice. Inquisition will take on Set of Mariner here. So we want to see a two drop sliver here or another land. I guess either of those are fine. That's pretty good. Play another sinew sliver. Play a world tree tapped. An untapped land next turn gives us like double striking slivers. Let's get in there. Do they have a push here? They're thinking. Push, dismember. What other removal spells they play that are one mana? There's lots of new ones from Ikoria onwards that I don't know the names of. I just there's the one that um kills three CC or lower and then can be kicked to kill anything. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Right, we want an untapped land. Come on. That'd be gas. Oh, you fucker. Okay. Into the red zone we go. Slaughter Pact here. Interesting. So they're going to untap and like play a Liliana. No, they can't. They're going to have to pay their mana for that. Cool. Okay, so we get to untap and play Bone Slave Sliver on our turn. Yeah, they're like Mono Black Control, playing Planeswalkers in interaction, basically. Oh, you're right. I should have put your in my hand. Thank you, Biffolon. A bit late, but thank you anyway. So we'll a 2-2 two, two double striker for four mana. Of course, they have Lily of the Veil to follow up with. Yep. Protects itself pretty well. Gem Hide Sliver. We've got two 1-1 one, one flyers. If they play last hope, there's just... Well, there's no hope. Am I right? Halfway! Ah, <laughs> uh, they didn't play last hope, though. They played Sorry and the Murphys. Which is fine. It's a flyer, though, isn't it? It does make a flyer. They didn't take up Lily because they don't want to discard something. Interesting. Ignoble Hierarch. Maybe I should... Maybe I should have put your in into my hand and kept the Ignoble as fodder. Yeah, I should have done. To be fair, next time we draw an untapped land, we just put your into hand and play it. They have one card in hand right now and they have a Castle Lockthwain active. Maybe we should play Castle Lockthwain in our rather ambitious mana base. They make another 2 3 flying with lifelink. Play another Sorrow in the Mirthless. They make another 2 3 flying with lifelink. 
So basically, I think anything we can draw here is good. Land is good. Untapped lands are bad. I lied. That's not good. I'm really out here just lying to y'all. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we needed eight mana, didn't we? Well, it means we can go Yorion next turn, right? What is their last card in hand? It's just another Sorin the Mirthless. Back to back hot Sorin action. Is that what we're going to see? <laughs> oh, baby. Fucking hell. Okay, so now they can take Lily up. No, they don't want to. If they get in here, they do. I hope they're getting that lucky, Marcus Harrell. They're just drawing cards that are in their deck, right? Harmonic Sliver not being that hot here. So we're going to go ahead and put this in our hand. I want to cast it. And we're going to just like, in case we need to do a lot of blocking, we're going to just like flick at the whole team. Because two of the team fly. She needs to just draw lots of slivers now, right? That's all we need to draw from now on. Nothing else but slivers, please. There's so many different Yorion builds we could have played that aren't this terrible, but we didn't. They uptick Sorin. Can they hit another Sorin? They take four. No, they hit a Field of Ruin. Cool. Bring to light off the top to cast a first level would be gas. Ratchet Bomb. Well, that's not going to do a whole lot. Hope they pop it in response to get a value in there. What the fuck is this? Wow, minus three, minus three. Oh, wow, they can just kill my Yori on here. <sighs> and we just got the harmonic. Yeah. I mean, we are just dying to a load of... Uh, well, one quite good card and a lot of medium ones. <laughs> Wait, can we draw something good now? Because we had those parts dismantled by the correct sequence of removal. I don't know what is on the line. Like, um, the new... Kamigawa does look very powerful. Um, whether it's going to be as, like, a problem, I don't know. Also, if they said that... If they, when did they say they were designing a poor problem? Was that when they introduced the new council? Because that means we've got to wait, like, two years for, like, the design principles to really fit that, you know? We're just playing a lot of one ones that don't do anything. That's what we're doing, isn't it? Or in this case, zero ones that don't do anything. I even forgot about the fucking magic bomb being in play. To say this is an uphill struggle chat is an understatement, and I am feeling a little bit deflated. I even play. I, sometimes we play decks on stream where I've played no games with them yet, and I admit that, right? And this week I was like, no. I don't want it to be super terrible, so I'm going to try and play a game with it. And I played some games and it instilled faith in me. I should have had no faith. This is dumb. I'm going to scoop at this point. Like, 
we lose a body here, they, they should be attacking. They should be attacking with more stuff earlier anyway. Draw harmonic sliver. Like, these cards are very good in certain matchups, right? Not this one. Okay, so far, so absolutely fucking terrible. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, it's fine. It's all fine. Actually, that's the point. I want to check if my audio on Twitch was fucked because I realized when I recorded today, my audio settings were different. Boo, 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 boo. No, I sound fine, I think. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. Stop shaking my leg, shouldn't I? Because it makes the camera go all shaky shake. That was uh, two very rough matches that weren't even remotely fun. So that's on me. That's on me for testing it and then being like, oh, we can piece together a win with this, with the right draw. And then not. And then not. Where is my... I'm looking for the right sound effect. Yeah, that's that's about right for how I feel after that, that round. Alright then, let's play another round. Right. New round. Fresh face. Fresh Pokemon. Let's go. Two lands and one two drop. Which can we cast it? We can. I'm going to keep it on the draw. We're going to draw a two drop or another land. Uh, swap bot. If there's only four of you, drafting's a little bit rough. So I would definitely do sealed. You really want eight players for a draft, otherwise you don't see enough cards for the decks to be good. Oh wow. If this is if this isn't Vengevine, this is actual Mill, we might have paired into our best matchup. We drew a blood in Maya, which is sweet. Um I'm gonna play Let's get these tap lands out of the way now. Thank you, Lucas Ada, and welcome, my friend. There's no chance it's actual mill, right? It's just going to be fucking Vengevine. Do they target themselves? They do. So unless they're panicking to target themselves. Yeah, no, it's just going to be Creeping Chill, Narc Amoebas. It's Vengevine chat. Or some form of dredge using crab, but yeah. <laughs> some days you really can't get rid of a bomb, chat. Some days you really can't get rid of a bomb. Double narco with a prized amalgam, is that? No, no prized amalgam. We're going to path this next turn. Catch you later, Bobby-o. We don't have any really like good graveyard hate slivers. That's a problem. I guess Niridian, it's it's fucking whales, isn't it? It's people who are gonna who've got money to buy everything and anything. Not that it's their fault. I'm not saying like you know, god damn, it's fucking whales. But I'm saying that's the kind of people that can you know just just buy a product that is so close to a real product. So Lava Belly can't shoot creatures, right? So they found a Poison Amalgam in the bin and a Gravecrawler. So they play a Gravecrawler and get a Poison Amalgam. So 
to take four, get an amalgam, pass to us. We get our third land. And then what? Sliver Hive, cool. No, there's no scavenging sliver or scavenging a star sliver, unfortunately. So we play the three drop here. Because it's got a better body, and then we can play two two drops next turn. Oh, hello, bot. Hello. How about you go fuck yourself? Goodbye. I guess we're gonna tutor for the, the the one that allows us to sack slivers to gain life, maybe. I guess Lava Belly can ping them and gain us life or some shit, I don't know. We're taking nine here. I guess Gale Rider isn't terrible. They hit a Venge Vine and a Prized Amalgam here. There are slivers that grant activated abilities. That wasn't the question, though, was it? Divide Melody. Was that the question? No. Take nine. Go to four. Bring to light for three. What does that get us? Drown walkers are two, three, it doesn't do anything. I guess we can bring to light for Skyclave Apparition. And then block two grave crawlers. <clears throat> that doesn't seem bad, does it? This doesn't seem good, sorry. We can like bring to light for Neoform, Neoform the Necromantic Sliver into a bone side sliver, it doesn't do anything. Bring to light for path. Bring to light for, bring to light for growing rights. No. I'm also mana short anyway, so we're just nowhere near that being a thing that helps anyway. So we have to just double sliver and see where we get to. We're, we're pretty dead. It's not really much play here, not much choices to make, right? So we're gonna get swamp. We're gonna go two mana for this. We're gonna go black and white for this. We do have to attack for two though. Oh no, we didn't have five yet. I was uh, sorry, I'm miles away. I'm trying to think if we can survive what we can do with what's in our hand. Because our damn was cool. I guess actually, I don't know why I'm focusing on the Bring to Light, because the damage calls the same thing, right? Bring to Light is if we get to five mana by drawing our land next turn, we get to go and get a three or a four drop. If we draw our land next turn, the damage call gets to go two mana, get us a three drop. They're both basically the same. I guess Bring to Light can also get Bolt or Path. Yeah, I guess Cloud Thresher Sliver is the best one, but we're just in a spot where we can't do shit, right? 
Oh, they get Avenge Vine here as well by casting both Seekers. It's almost like that deck is actually well designed. Like, it's a meta deck because it's actually got, like, working parts that do stuff together. Crazy, eh? I'll bring in the Relic of the Tournament's Crypt and take out the two Henges. There we go. You never know. We might draw in our 256 card deck. We might draw it. You never know. We do have more copies of Khan, but I think Khan's too slow. You saw there, we just about got to four mana. Spyfall Sliver, I thought it was earlier, but it doesn't hit any target, does it? No. It's not quite Boris Reckoner or... Yeah, because Boris Reckoner can hit anything, right? Why? Because these things are fun to try, Arctic Titan 13. Sometimes you got to think outside the box. Make your own entertainment, you know? Play with your own penis because no one else will, you know? That sort of thing. Like Sliver and Battle of Wits, they were more iconic duo, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Okay. We won the die roll. Reveal Sky Nomad. Talking to Khan. Maybe we should have left him on the board. Oh, fuck. Wargate can get Battle of Wits. Finale can't. But we probably should be playing Finale as well. I actually forgot it existed when I was putting the list together last night. Okay, so we probably should have done Stonebridge on our board as well. It looks like we might get to activate this card. So what are we grabbing? Because you brought both our sideboard cards in, which is just terrible. And now we're actually going to have Khan maybe at a time that is relevant. They mill themselves for four. They hit a creeping chill. Okay. Cage is still in the board. Oh, you still have a cage. Fucking hell, that board. The board's original meme thing was we're going to put in loads of artifacts that you play in Commander. That was the joke. And then we started to change it. I never really finished it. There's a lot of inside jokes here for when we put this together with my patrons. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we get to go ahead and crack this. And grab. I wonder what I could serve my life to at this point. We've got Ignoble, we've got Blue. We don't have any white mana. Oh, we do have a Sacred Foundry. Ah, fuck it. Trinisphere might not be a terrible shout. Uh, we might never hit a fourth land, though, so it might just not be much of a conversation. Because Trinisphere makes their grave callers for one mana rough. Uh, Vengevine is does it does it get does it cast itself? Trinisphere might be actually really good. So Mill themselves for ten. Hit a creeping chill. Hit no narcos, which is kind of crazy. We get an eight here. No, it doesn't cast itself, just give it turns. 
But it makes casting two creatures difficult, I guess. We draw a mirror entity. Attack for two. Take them to... Attack for three, sorry. Take them to 19. There are no Venge Vines in the bin. There are two... One... There is one Price Amalgam. We are dead to... Um, well, Crimmature can't kill us. Because Crimmature does a six total. My main way to find Battle of Wits is Warpgate or drawing it. It's kind of there for fun. Uh, they're going to be on for four. More poised amalgams, no Narcomoebas, which means they're getting close to Narcomoebas, right? Glyphs themselves again. They hit a Narco. And the next one has two Venge Vines in the bin as well. No, oh, fuck. And they can cast both the Secret Keepers to get it. If we cast Khan last turn by drawing the land, we might be in a spot that isn't the worst. If we can get ensnaring budget, might be alright as well, but we don't. That's a painful land, my friends. That's a painful land. So then I just play the Dregscape here. Imagine if you play the Khan, right? Hear me out and go get the Tormod script. <clears throat> Imagine if you play the Khan and go get the Tormod script that I sided him. Well, no, because they're attacking us for seven, on the, seven before the Venge Vines, right? If they play some stuff... Oh, no. Because they play things to get the Venge Vines, they then have blockers. So say if they swing out, we might be okay. We might have to crack back for a bunch, but that's not an option either because they just have blockers. So we block like this. Take seven, go to one, can't use our mana confluence. They take eight. If only had lifelink. Unearth this. Unearth this. Thank you, Arctic Titan. Thank you for hanging out. Go to combat and attack. It's actually, it looks kind of close. The so closest game, right? And then we just kill ourselves the mana confluence to maintain some dignity, as they call it in the business. <laughs> oh my goodness.
So we hit them for three, taking them to five. And then it's time. We activate this for zero, killing all of our slivers. And then we pay one life and kill ourselves. Right then, chat. That was rough. Oh, you guys don't have the audio one. I played some sound. We we'll get a mixed time. Right then. So we're going to... Oh. We're going to go ahead and piss now. I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Won't be long. Follow me. My bad. I was saying M's might have been right, but then I do believe they would have hit us for seven, took us to one. And from playing the Vengevine, they would have had two bodies to block with anyway. So even if we pumped to four, blocked the Vengevine, shot them for eight, we couldn't have cracked in because they would have had two blockers. I think we were a little bit fucked, Fallible. shall we say. A little bit fucked, as they say in the north. <laughs> I think people don't talk enough about how good bugles are and making fart noises. No one discusses this on the internet. Maybe I should start doing like comprehensive content about this. It sounds like someone's farting in the hallway. Do you know what I mean? itchy nose right let's go we're in waiting for opponent to join fart friday that's the new content oh so we're against the pussy cat it's our first time seeing the cat this league which is nice um Turn one Gale Rider. Player tap land. Not both play Skyclave. I'm gonna give this a shot. Because we might draw another land. If not, I might go to Ketria turn one. Are they mill again? But is it milling us this time? That would be nice. That would be nice. If we lose to Mill, then it's confirmed that Sliver of Wits isn't very good, right? Well, he just lost to Mill, but it's self-Mill. Bitch, but he itched my nose. 
Okay. Basic Island say goes. They're going to have a counter spell. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. We just drew a Cavern of Souls, which stops things from being countered. Gem Hide, the classic Mana Dork. Ripping what I need off the top. Like a boss. Um, is this a... It, oh, it is a sliver in my hand as well, right? Because it's a changeling. Because the constructs that you name a creature when they come in, like Adaptive Automaton, is actually still a construct in hand. But the Realm Walker is like the old the old changeling. Same thing. Right? Am I right? Or is this a shapeshifter? Field of Ruin, my cavern. Do what you gotta do, my friend. Do what you gotta do. Know what you're doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Four measly months. I'll try harder next time. Perpetual hype for Kamigawa, though. I appreciate that, Zach the Cat King. Thank you for the four months. Four months is good. Don't don't feel bad about it. Uh, I know it's all creature types. The question was, is it all creature types on the stack? It's been a while since I tried to cast a sh this with the Cavern of Souls. I guess we'll never know. All types and all zones. Thank you. Fatal push as well, eh? So we know that kind of magic. So they went into that cavern like a like a like a dog on hot chips. It was all over it. Play around, Walker. See what we can find. Archive trap me first, sure. 231 cards to go. Windswept Heath on top. We've got two ways to shuffle our deck in our hands, and we're drawing another one, so that's pretty good with Realm Walker. Realm Walker allows us to play slivers off the top of our library, by the way, if you're wondering. Ruin Crab, sure. We should just play one copy of Emrakul just in case as well. Just when you really want to make sure that you're going to win the... Are the, the, oh, they milling us? So we're hitting Neuroform on top now. Know what you're doing right now? Impressing oh, the gosh, we jump into the Unearthed Sliver. How goes the battle of Twits? Err, Wits Wink. I don't want the return to the wild speaker. It's trash. It shouldn't be in the deck. It's literally losing us games. Let's play a Gale Rider Sliver and see how they react. They might have counter magic here. They do. Okay. They do not, sorry. Let's play a Skeleton Town and crack it. I'm going to go and get a Sacred Foundry here. Pay the life. Find a Court of Calling on top, which is pretty decent. I'm going to try and kill that crab. If they have counter magic, they 100% counter this. Drown the lock or counter the spell? Drown the lock? Yeah, cool. Go in for two. So the Battle of Wits is going badly top up PZ, to answer your question, my friend, uh, with 0-3. Th three. However, we have paired finally into Mill, which is pretty good. Shut up, Green Warrior, that was fucking awful. <laughs> Last round was also Mill, but it was self-Mill, it was Vengevine, so we were so close to getting there, we were so fucking close. But we didn't try, we didn't manage it. We're going to return the palace to the hand. Let's again, we lose the cord. We do have a um, unearthed sliver in the bin now, though, which is absolute gas. So now we can unearth, and then we can unearth the double striking one as well. Seems decent, honestly. Seems decent. Let's 
You need a four, four drop to carry at first level, right? First level is five mana. They, have cat, they don't have cat magic for that. So we're in, so we'll unearth next turn near from the unearthed thing, I think, is what the plan will be. Yeah, and also putting first sliver into play doesn't cascade. You have to like cast slivers afterwards. It's not as good. Take them to 13. They have milled us to 222. They get in there. Into the story. It's going to draw four cards. Yeah, fuck it. Most of them are going to say Miller card on them, aren't they? And we don't give a shit. Hedron Crab, sure. Player land, sure. Sure. Does an Earth say if they would leave the battlefield, Exile them instead? Yeah, it does. Tashar's hits, uh, what's that, 11 cards and a copy of Battle of Wits. I think we just killed them here. So we have Dregskate Sliver for two. Leaving Neoform up. And then we can then Drex keep the double no, strike and we hit them for four. Impressing the uh, ten. Hi. Uh, and then three more um ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. Is that right? Because we're double striking adding plus one to Drex Cape and Yeah. That was good. No, what um, are you doing right now? Close game. Impressive. Thank you for the these subs. Uh, it's sufferable frog. Hi. You old frog. And co Open pronounced your name correctly there. The hype train is on the go as well. Thank you all for coming back. Always hyping me up. Always getting involved. When I'm playing fucking shit decks for shit cunts. But if I don't do it, someone else needs to... Needs to do it. The British are known for that. What are you doing right now? Impressive. Thank you, Priyogi Addict yeah. with the Prime. Thank you. Welcome back. Oh, that's my Prime dab. That's my Prime dab. We're just going to run it back. Um, if you've got Twitch Prime, you cunts, hit the subscribe button. Give me a Prime. Why not? Why not? And our opponent scooped it up. Oh, fucking yeah. We did it. We it's fucking did it. <sighs> that is your Prime dab swap bot, you entitled shit. So... That's the new horizon loading right there. Motherfuckers, we did it. Oh, I'm dabbing again. My nephew the other day, I dabbed him in front of him ironically. I think I beat him at Tekken or Infamous or something. We were playing some games when he was last down with my sister. And I dabbed. And he's like, nobody dabs anymore. Like, really? Like, nobody dabs anymore. And I was like, fuck off, you little brat. I dab, whether it be ironically or not, you motherfucker. Charlie Trotter, I'll get you all. I'll get your horn. I'll get the horn out for the lads right now. I feel sorry for anyone using Moobot against paired into me. It's like last scene playing Sliver of Wits. <laughs> I think I did dab with the Power Glove to smash in. I think I did dab with the Power Glove. You don't sound so pleasant. Well, you know, sometimes you got to break a few eggs to make a stream for the swear words. That's what my old man used to say. Don't know why you say that. Sometimes I wonder if that's what inspired me to become a content creator. I'm going to mulligan this. I'm going to mulligan this. I'm going to keep this. Two lands, two slivers, and a removal spell. What more could you ask for in life? 
other than to hear the lactations of your women. That's right. That's the famous quote from Conan, right? To hear the lactations of your women and your enemies pivot before you. Thoughtsies, I'm all to five. Bit rough. We do look like a combo deck with a poison sliver and like a fucking drag skate sliver. Looks like we're about to pop off. Do you know what I mean? Lactation can definitely be heard. If you mic'd up a particularly milky teat and started milking it, you would hear like, you'd hear like, Do you know what I mean? Do, do, do you get it? Did you join at a bad time? There's never a bad time to hear the sound of lactation fresh on a mic from the Premier Beard and Eastman's Entertainment. Let's go grab an overgrown tomb. Pay the life. Let's pay a poison sliver. That's true. I, I've heard breast pumps that actually just play um, Cocobana. Drinks are free when they're milk from a little nipple like me. Cocobana where drinks are free when they're made with breast milk, milk from mommy. I don't mind being called PK or Vince. You can still call me Big Papa Kenobi, Hot Stuff, or The Man, The Myth, The Legend. Ragavan, Ragavan, more like shit cunt van, am I right? It's not Cocobana, is it? It's Tropicana. Oh, Tropicana drinks are free. What's your favourite line from Cocobana? Tropicana? Whatever the fuck the song's called. No attacks here. If we just draw like some lands and some spells, we might be okay. I don't want to like get into the weeds of it, you know? But we might be okay. Catch you later, Blastoise. It's always a pleasure, my friend. They take the spiteful sliver, I assume. Yeah. More to five get double thought seized is a bit rough. I did turn on the Dragon Age Chandler. Maybe that was the incorrect thing to do. Okay, we're off, chat. T Mold to five. Get thought seized twice. Play a turn three, eighth of Isle. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Uh, if you're not understanding why I'm excited, it's because eighth of Isle is not very good um, when drawn late. We're playing 256 card uh, uh, sliver of wits. Almost had skittle of wits then, don't know why. Oh, they've drawn like 
every threat in their deck. That's <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Holy shit! shit, shit, shit. So we're very close to dead already. Our deck did literally nothing. But don't worry, because at the Coca Banner, drinks are free if they're made from mother's milk and me. Okay. Let's not give them any more information about what we're playing, because they might be able to sideboard better against us. I'm glad your dog enjoyed that. Does your dog like this one tap up, PZ? Smoke weed every day. Do they like that one as well, do they? I hope so. Yeah, this deck could do with some work. Um, Prime 99. Really could. Like, maybe remove all the slivers. Imagine being a dog. Would that be fun? I'm not sure. I'm really just not sure. Like, licking other dogs' arseholes? Can't be that great. Right, next game, let's go. We have won the dive on. Reveal the Yorion. You would have to deal with capitalism though, you just would understand it. This sounds fine. We'll go get an overgrown tomb. We'll play the Ignoble High Rock. Now, if we play Birds of Paradise, we actually play Unsettled Marrow next turn, which would be great because they have so much Marrow. removal. But here's the big brain. They're just going to thought these out of our hand anyway. Ragavan. Okay. Maybe not then. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, Bring to Light's not terrible here either. So we just play the Sedge Sliver here? Or we just let the Ragavan hit us, right? Like, we don't give a fuck. What do we do? Play one of our Slivers? No, we play the Sedge Sliver. Because now, if they have Bolt, they can kill it. If they have Push, they need to fetch land. Well, Shield's down, Sedge Sliver, but... Drown the lock, maybe. Just straight up terminate, chat. Didn't even matter if I had the mana anyway. Still got all these, as they say in the biz. They found a cord. They cannot cast, obviously. We found Ignoble Hierarchs. We're going to go Birds of Paradise. We're going to go Ignoble Hierarch. Do we call? Do we bring to light? That is the question. They attack us for two. No blocks. Go on, have what you have. get a treasure. Who gives a fuck, right? Oh, path to X. Oh, I'm okay if they cast that, honestly. Just fixes our mana some more. We can just call for calling for spiteful sliver in oh no, because it'll die. Doesn't really do a whole lot, does it?
We'll just path on noble, sure. No, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Thank you, Adelon, and welcome back. 24 months is one hell of a fucking sesh, shall we say. A session, but shortened down sound cool. A, a sesh. Um. The fuck are we even meant to be doing here? Just go get a. Go get a, like a first sliver, shall I? Yeah, fuck it. This is gonna resolve, right? We also get to cast the first sliver as well. So that's pretty decent. So we're going to cast the first sliver. We're going to cascade. We're going to cast a noble hierarch. Absolute fucking gas chat come on is no one hyped about that i'm pretty hyped about that that was dece an unsettled mariner will either get us a flying sliver or it will get us a um what you call it a poison sliver uh this thing they just dress down our stuff which is weird because i thought they'd do it in their end step right Now we're cooking with slivers. I like that. That's my favourite way to cook. Do they have another terminate? Let's go play with the threats right here. Impressing the heck out of me. Hello, Riker Primer. Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Croak, sir. Oh, they get to keep it around. Shit on it. Yeah, I see. Cool. I need to skyclave that real bad. Because of me, you now have minis to paint. Sweet. Okay, so there's a dress down. Okay. Again. Interesting. Sure. So we're not going to be casting any slivers this turn. We're probably just going to go ahead and, like, make a Skyclave in their upkeep with our order calling. In their That'll upkeep, be. by the way. Because otherwise it wouldn't have any abilities. Play a Tarn, sure. When they attack with it, we have to discard things, don't forget, chat. Know what you're doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. So you have a 13 13 we can't attack into. So Dresden goes away. And now before they untap, I think you're I think you're right, actually. Um Lazeri. I think you're right before they untap. So we go ahead and I'm gonna crack this. Grab a Island. We go green, green, and green, and three. And cast this. We're going to keep the first level around as a blocker. Grab a Skyclave. Trigger, take the Croaxer away. Dress Down is so decent. It's such a good card. It's crazy good. It's been seen playing loads of formats, by the way. If people are wondering if, if, if well, they haven't heard much about this. I haven't seen it with the Croaxer tech before. Oh, they have to fucking terminate. 
Well, that's a shame. If we draw the unearthed sliver, it could be some hot shit. Then we get to attack with a 3-3 three, three that we can't really block very well. We will just trade the Skyclave for the uh, Ragavan, though. Oh, they have something? We can actually just go get another first sliver. Are we playing more than one, right? Yeah, we're playing four first slivers. Oh, they only fetched to, to make a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, we can't tap out to get a first sliver now, though. Um, shit. Look at all the threads they've got. Fucking hell. They're on seven, but that's not good enough. I guess first sliver is bigger than both their death shadows. And it should cascade into something else, right? Follow me. So we'll have two blockers, and that's four damage. We can't do it, chat. We can't do it. Bone Scythe Sliver doesn't do anything. So the apparition doesn't get us far enough. <sighs> Mirror Entity. Doesn't get us far enough. The the cascade into the mana sliver doesn't do anything. We have to hit a haste sliver. Because the, the mana sliver will be will be um um summoning sick. Oh shit. Someone just said about not having enough exalted. If we get another exalted. Oh no. If we go yeah, I'd always call for an exalted attack for three bolt. We're actually one off. Plus two plus zero the bird. Well, other than mirror entity, no. And we can't do that without a drum recall and the bird and bolt them. Spiteful sliver? Maybe. Two mana, three mana to play it. Three blockers. Yeah, that might be the line. That's got to be the line, right? I'll have another look at the deck now to make sure I'm not missing anything. I do quite like the spiteful line. The Korak also allows us to block and kill something, which isn't terrible, but I think spiteful sliver might actually win the game. So cast it, have a lot of blockers. Three blockers block three things. So we need them not to draw any fucking removal. The only problem with Unearth is it dies at the end of term. So I guess we could have swung with it and cast the Mariner and stuff, I guess. So they might try and grow the Death Shadow to get through. Drown in the lock, fuck. Okay, we can survive by block, block, bolt. Block here, block here. Bolt here. Take two, lose two bodies. Fuck is what we're gonna draw now. Let's put Lewis into hand, sure. They just, they just drew the removal spell when they need it, so that's so frustrating. No, nope, that's it, chat. I fucking tried, chat. There was only a couple of punts. 
I guess the argument is that the uh, the deck construction is somewhat lacking. Uh, we do have eight dead cards in our deck. And those eight dead cards showed up more than, say, Diffusion Sliver. Or... Um, Path to Exile. Or... Um, I saw most of our deck across five games, which is kind of insane. Growing Rights. Or Vivian. Or Khan. Yeah. Weirdly, we saw, like, everything in the one and two drop slot, and then everything here. <laughs> and there's loads of three drops we didn't see. Very, very strange. Right, I'm not going to play another league with this fucking deck, because it is bad. It is really, really bad. And I think it's fun, and we just need to actually tune it by cutting some of this stuff. I might come back to this deck in a couple of, couple of weeks. Tune it up. Make it better. I'm going to end it there, chap. It's going to be a short one tonight. I'm desperate for a piss. I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day of work. I'm um, getting some stuff done so I can have tomorrow for my wife. So we can go to the beach with the dogs. Isn't that nice, chat? Um, isn't, that, isn't that nice, chat? It's been quite quiet today. If any of you give a shit on Wednesday at 7pm GMT, I'll be live here on Twitch.tv. I'm going to have Kirioth TV with me. Not here in the room, although we might do that in the future. Who knows? He's going to be live and we're going to be talking about getting into Warhammer 40k. And we're going to go ahead and answer questions from chat and talk to chat about getting into Warhammer, what the what the steps are. From like, you know, he's quite, he's relatively casual, but he's really into the hobby and painting and building um, in like really unique and quirky ways. His, his kit matches are great. And obviously I'm into the painting a lot, but I'm also really into tournaments and things too. So I say really into it. I go along and play it. I know the game is incredibly unbalanced and silly, but it's a lot of fun to actually just sling soldiers around and roll dice. So if you want to see and talk about getting into 40k and learn, that's on Wednesday night. Uh, there'll be loads more comment, uh, content coming throughout the week of vintage and talking heads and some MTG finance shit. Right, chat. Let's go raid somebody. Um, is everyone on arena? Most people, a lot of people doing the reading of Kamigawa stuff. There's a lot of fucking reading to do with that set, am I right? Kamigawa is not out on arena today, right? It's out on Wednesday. Oh, I can't fucking keep track, honestly. Uh, let's throw over to Sandy Lim. Get in the clown car, you sluts. In you go, all inside. Toot toot, motherfuckers. When you get into the other person's stream, please don't swear. Be polite to them and find out if, they, like, if swearing is allowed there. Try and get a vibe check. Read the room, okay? Once you have, then you can obviously get in that way. And show off your emotes or so. Show off your milk cartons, show off your toots, show off your punt bees. Get in there, my friends. Right. to ta for now, kids. to ta for now. And any of you who are on the Discord, are you, this will be up on YouTube next week. Uh, I'm going to put up stream videos every Tuesday the following week. Uh, if you are on the Discord, I'll be playing League and hanging out and chatting now over there as well. So come hang out if you want to. to ta for now, kids. to ta for now.